Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to my channel. Now, it's been almost four weeks since I last had my nails done in Korea. They're pretty grown out. And so today I'm going to be doing my nails and I thought I would show you guys how I do my nails at home. In case you didn't know, I love nail art and I usually do my nails at home just to save money because it does get really expensive if you have to visit a nail salon every two, three weeks. It does add up. So let's just get into it. First, I need to remove my existing gel polish. As you can see, Laura did a really good job and we filmed a video together. It's up on my channel, so if you haven't checked it out, make sure you do if you wanna see how she did this design. So first off, I am going to file off the top layer of gel using my e-file. If you don't have an e-file, you can use a hand file to do this. Basically, I wanna remove the top layer of gel. Once I've filed the top layer of gel off my nails, I'm going to soak them in a gel polish remover. So I've just cut out pieces of foil like this and I've folded a little bit of the bottom edge up. I find that this is the best way when using foil. So I've just dipped a bit of that cotton wool in my remover. I'm just going to wrap it up now. And because I folded the bottom part of the foil up, it makes it a lot more secure so it doesn't slip off that easily. So I'll just let this soak for about 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, I'm going to open up the foil wraps and then use my little scraper tool here. This one is a little cuticle pusher from BioSculpture. I really like this one from removing gel because of its unique shape. And I'm just going to use that to scrape off any of the gel that's lifted. Now, because the nail technician in Korea did use a lot of layers of gel, I'm going to have to re-soak my nails. I'll probably have to do this twice. Once the gel polish is removed, I'm going to push back my cuticles, clean them up, and then shape and buff my nails. It's really important to prep your nail beds well when using gel. So you wanna make sure you push back any of that dead skin sitting on the nail bed. So you can see how much cuticle I have on each finger. If you're doing this correctly, it shouldn't hurt your nails. So you don't wanna be pushing too hard. If you have stubborn cuticles, you can also use a cuticle remover. I'm then going to go in with my cuticle nippers and just cut off any of that lifted cuticle. You can see the difference here with these two fingers versus these two fingers. So I've already cleaned up the cuticle here, whereas this area, you can see this light part here. That's the cuticle I'm actually going to remove. So my cuticles are all nice and clean. I'm going to shape my nails and then give them a quick buff. You can see that I do have some damage on my nails and this was from when I had acrylics in Japan. Keep in mind that pretty much any sort of nail enhancement you do, whether it be acrylic or gel, chances are you will get a little bit of damage to your original nail bed. So now I'm just going to file and shape my nail. I'm gonna keep the length because I like them quite long. But I'm just gonna clean up the shape a little bit, make them more rounded and pointy. I personally love having my nails in a more pointed shape because I find that whenever I have square or coffin nails, they tend to break a lot faster. Next, I'm gonna give my nail beds a quick light buff. Okay, so my nails are all prepped and I'm ready to move on to gel polish. First, I'm going to apply a coat of my base. This one is from a brand called Presto and it's called the Bambina Base Gel. I got this when I was in LA from a Japanese nail supply store. What the base gel does is going to help level out your nails and fill in any bits and pieces and make sure the gel layers on top adhere to it well. You really wanna just like push this into your nail bed. Make sure to wipe away any parts that have touched the skin. And then I'm gonna cure this under the light for about 30 seconds. 
I'm gonna go in with the color now. So I found this photo on Pinterest and I really like um, this sort of like French tip design, but it's a little bit unique because it's not rounded. It's just at the tip. So I want to do something like that on my nails. However, I don't have this nude color, so I'm just going to mix it up myself. So here I have some colored pot gels. I have a pink shade and uh, more of like a nudie shade. I'm going to mix these two together to create like a pinky nude, but I also want it to be a little bit transparent. So I'm going to mix in a little bit of my top gel. Now why I use these pot gels as opposed to gels that are in bottles like this is because I find that these gels are more opaque and also for storage purposes, I like these ones because they're easier to store. The only downside is you're going to need a gel brush. So this one I have is from T-Gel Collection and it's a gel brush. It's more of like a rounded one. So I'm gonna scoop a little bit of each color using my spatula and I've just popped it on to this like wax paper. I have a gel cleanser from a brand called Angel Pro. This just helps me clean my brush as well as it removes any stickiness off the surface of my gel. So I'm just going to pop a little bit into here. You can also get like a brush gel cleanser, but I ran out of that. So that's why I'm using this. So whenever I'm painting on gel, I like to start off at the tip first and then work my way up towards the cuticle. You want to make sure that the gel does not touch the cuticle or the skin. Also, I like to apply a little bit of gel just at the edge or the tip of the nail. I find that this helps my gel polish last longer and it doesn't tend to like chip or lift at the edge. Okay, so now I'm ready to go in with the white for the French tip. I'm going to be using a pot gel. This brand is called Egaha. Again, it's a Japanese brand. And I'm just going to use a nail art brush, one that's really fine. I'm going to make sure my brush is well coated. I'm going to start with this finger. I'm just going to draw a line. To the center of the nail. FYI, this is my first time doing this design, so I don't even know if I can pull this off. I'm going to draw a line outwards now to the other side. And then I want this point to be a little bit more rounded. So let's just try to round it out. I'm liking the shape of that. I just feel like maybe it needs to be a little bit thicker than white. I just realized I don't know how I'm going to do this with my other hand. Okay, so I ended up making the smile line a little bit pointier and I'm quite happy with that. I am going to attempt to do this with the rest of my nails. Fuck what you thought I'd do without you. I'm so much better like you never met me. I'm doing anything I want to. I'm going with you to 80, so when you see me talk to strangers No, don't you let it get the best of you You let me slip right through your fingers And now 
looking like so far this is nice if you just want something a little bit different from your basic French manicure but I want to jazz it up a little bit and add some embellishments I got some of these butterfly sequins online recently so I think I'm gonna just pop some on maybe on an accent nail just to add some sparkle to it so I'm actually going to apply a layer of this hard gel this helps to seal the design in as well as make my nails stronger. Place the butterfly decals on top. So when you see me talk to strangers, no, don't you let it get the best of you. You let me slip right through your fingers, and now it's fingers. And then I'm gonna pop on some glitter sequins as well. I'm going to cure that under the light. Next, I'm going to decorate my thumb. I'm just going to apply the hard gel over it and then pop a little ball of that where I want um, some diamantes to go. Okay, so I've just placed three diamantes together. And because these aren't flat, I'm just going to put the points together to create like a dome shape. For this nail, I'm also going to pop on another coat of the Builder Gel just to level everything out. As you can see, it's quite bumpy at the moment because of the sequence and glitter. My bad. This is probably a bad idea and I know now I'm going to move on to the final step, which is to apply a top coat. I'm using one from T-Gel and this is the same thing as a bottle, but it's just in a pot form. Okay guys, so this is what my nails look like. Surprisingly, it wasn't as hard to do on my right hand as I thought it would be. I think because it was easier because I didn't record that part and I didn't have to have my hand like so low for the camera shot. I could just get up really close and work on the details. So it wasn't so bad. Let me know what you think of this nail design. Also, if you want to see monthly tutorials like this, please comment below. I do my nails every three to four weeks. So if you guys want regular videos, please let me know. Anyways, that is it from me. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to turn on notifications. That way you don't miss out on any future uploads. That is it from me. I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye. I'm gonna show off my new nails. Yes, it only took me four hours to do. Or was it five hours? I don't know. I'm hungry.